Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanson, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We'll cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we have a very, uh, very serious show for you guys. Before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. Now, as you guys know, Jalen Brown is turning into a bit of a polarizing figure, but not in a traditional sense when we're thinking about uh, sports figures that are polarizing. Usually players that are polarizing, athletes that are polarizing, they have certain people that like them and they have other people that don't like them. But in the case of Jalen Brown, he seems to be the, the people's champ. A lot of NBA a lot of NBA fans like him, NBA players like him, but it seems like the corporate world uh, is not a fan of Jalen Brown. And this was made public a few months ago when Stephen A. Smith went on the e, uh, Stephen a., uh, ESPN First Take and basically said, according to some of his unnamed sources, that Jalen Brown essentially isn't marketable because he's arrogant and uh, he knows the reasons why certain corporations are deciding to stay away, stay clear of him. And then Jalen Brown took to social media where he basically sent a message directly to Stephen A. Smith where he said, reveal your sources to that which Stephen A. Smith responded with by saying, no chance in hell that I will I ever reveal the people that told me that otherwise. Uh, I'll be deemed untrustworthy and therefore no one would ever speak to me again. So that happened. Then we had the Summer Olympics and Team USA was selecting a bevy of NBA players and guess who didn't make the, the final cut? NBA Finals MVP, Eastern Conference Finals MVP, Jalen Brown did not make the cut. And a lot of us were like, if the Finals MVP can't make the cut, there has to be something beyond basketball that's taking place here. Clearly, there's some politics taking place, and some people speculate it's because he's not a Nike athlete, he didn't make it, and all of those different things. But then again, Kawhi Leonard wasn't a Nike athlete, he was a New Balance athlete, and he made the team and then abruptly was replaced by Derek White, who I believe is also uh, a Nike-sponsored athlete. So what happened yesterday, I was seeing all over the internet uh, a sit-down that took place between Stephen A. Smith and Jalen Brown, where Jalen Brown confronted Stephen A. Smith directly. You know, and they had a, 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 a candid back and forth where both of these gentlemen expressed their views. So what happened today? I was just kind of coming through the Internet. I wasn't really paying attention to this. We had already shot all the content we wanted to shoot for the day. And then I came across this segment on ESPN First Takes featuring Sham, Stephen A. Smith, Molly Karam, uh, 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 Wendy, and uh, Brian Windhorse, and uh, Shannon Sharp. And they were reacting to, this, to the back and forth that took place on Stephen A. Smith's show yesterday. And then after they played it, Stephen A. Smith spoke. Uh, uh, Brian Windhorst spoke, Sham spoke, but when it came time for Shannon Sharp to speak, he absolutely floored me by some of the things that was coming out of his mouth. But before we even get into what Shannon had to say, today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Game Time. With only four months left until the end of the year, I look forward to creating special moments with family and friends by attending various theater shows, plays, and sporting events. And when it comes time for me to look for tickets, I absolutely love to use game time game time is one of the most reliable marketplaces for last minute tickets to the most popular events in sports music and theater in more than 60 cities across the united states and canada game time saves me money time and peace of mind so i don't have to sort through thousands of tickets looking for the best prices or worry about whether or not if they're authentic or whether if i'm going to receive them on time Game Time Picks, one of my favorite Game Time tools, analyzes thousands of tickets for all of your favorite events near your location and finds you the best possible deal so you don't have to. For example, I'm looking forward to this upcoming concert at Madison Square Garden of one of my favorite composers, Hans Zimmer. Here, I can select the all-in price to see the total ticket price up front no hidden fees and now i can sort through the best possible deals i can find i can choose the cheapest deals the great deal or the amazing deal once you select the ticket you want you can use their panoramic seat view to ensure you know exactly what you're getting before you buy and if you're like me and always make plans at the last minute you can grab tickets up to 90 minutes after the event has started so take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time Download the app, create an account, and use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Again, create an account and use redeem code CLNS for $20 off. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. So what we want to do now is want to play exactly what Shannon Sharp had to say on ESPN First Take in response uh, to some of the grievances from Jalen Brown, and then want to come back and really get into the show. Take a listen to what Shannon Sharp had to say here. 
Guys, some of the biggest stories in the history of America have been broken by sources. And a lot of times, journalists are willing to go to jail to stop, to not reveal their sources. And sometimes the court system will threaten them. And they say, well, you're just going to have to put me in jail. Because if you rely on sources to do your job, the once you give them up, you will no longer have a job. Nobody will ever, ever trust you again to tell you information. Now, the problem, I don't have a problem. I think Jalen Brown should be commended. But Stephen A., guys, uh, Wendy, Shams, you know this. When you take the approach that Jalen Brown has taken, that he's going to be outspoken about his community and things that he see, you have to understand. You get to control your actions. You don't get to control the consequences that comes of your actions. Hey, y'all can cover up that logo, but y'all going to be in them Reebok uniforms because they are the official outfitter of the 92 Olympics. Jalen, bro, you're not, you're not never, no person has ever been bigger than the sport itself. You're not about to be the first. Not Jordan, not LeBron, not Magic, not Bird, not, not Steph, not KD, whatever the sport, pick a sport. No athlete's ever been bigger. Bro, I, I, I love what you do for your community. I love how you stand up and speak positive about our community. I love that you're trying to bring Magic. financial literacy Magic. to our community. But bro, it's not the end of the world because people don't think you're, that Madison Avenue don't think yeah. you're marketable. It's not the end all be all because but, you're still a hell of a ball player. But Shannon, it doesn't make it right that he should be punished for that. And you know that more than anybody. Speaking we out all on know that. We all, we, all, agree, we all know agree, that, Molly. We all I, know that, Molly. Yes, Molly. I agree 1,000%. Yeah. Well, I, I respect his decision. But Molly, again, you control your actions. You don't get to control the consequences that comes along with it. Yeah. So you heard what Shannon Sharp had to say. I want to be honest with you guys. I, I was genuinely perturbed by some of the things that Shannon Sharp was saying. He was up there talking about, oh, you know, when you say when you say these things, you got to be prepared for the ramifications of what you said. You can't you can you can control what you say, but you can't control how people react to what you say. So what is the things that Jalen Brown said exactly? If we go to the beginning of this, this started when Stephen A. Smith was on ESPN First Take and, a bit, and, and essentially was going through some of the things that his unnamed sources were saying. He's unmarketable. Uh, he thinks that he's better than everybody. All of these different things. Right. And therefore, he isn't marketable. Correct. We got that straight. Then Jalen Brown responded to him by saying, state your sources, put a name on it so I can know the people that said these things about me. Stephen A. Smith refused. Then he didn't make the, all the, 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 the Olympic team. Stephen A. Smith then came out and basically said on Twitter, I told you so. Then out of nowhere, they had to sit down yesterday where Jalen Brown was now expressing himself on Stephen A. Smith's platform. So what is the thing that Shannon Sharp is talking about? Uh, he, uh, what are the things that he's referring to when he says he would have to pay the price for the things that he said? What are the things that he said for his actions? What actions? Being intelligent. Hmm. He got to pay a price for being intelligent. Huh? Being a person that speaks truth to power. Hmm. He has to pay the price for that. Let me tell you guys what my takeaway from this, all of this is. As I'm listening to this, I'm beginning to glean uh, 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 a better understanding of the type of players that these leagues in the media like to promote. Because you're telling me that Jalen Brown can't be controlled. Why? Because he can think for himself. So therefore, what does that mean? You're going to promote players that can be controlled? That's the first thing. The second thing, and I'm not going to lie to you, as Shannon was up there talking, I just couldn't help but think about him and his and, and his savior, LeBron James. Because I have heard Shannon on numerous occasions come on TV and cry on the behalf of LeBron James because of how LeBron James is being treated unfairly, the unfair criticism, the unfair scrutiny. And it's all basketball related. But in the case of Jalen Brown, the guy is talking about serious things and all of a sudden, man, you need, you need to understand how the game go. You need to understand how the game go. You say this about people, you got the right to say it, but there's going to be some... You even heard in a soundbite at one point, Molly Karam stepped in like, but yeah, but that doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. And I'm just imagining if, if it was LeBron James 
in the shoes of Jalen Brown, would Shannon Sharp take the same tone? Would he have the same tone? Well, obviously, we all know the answer to that. He will be up there crying. He'll be up there twerking it up all over the table, knocking over drinks, pouring honey all over the table for some damn LeBron James about how LeBron James is being treated unfairly and unjustly by the media. How everyone is on a witch hunt for LeBron James. Where in the case of Jalen Brown, you can clearly see that he's being blackballed to the point, to the point where you had Americans rooting against Team USA because of how Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum was being treated. I don't know if y'all remember that. There were Americans that were rooting against Team USA because of how these two Celtics players were being treated. And they thought that they were being treated unfairly. It was a disgrace that the Olympic team did not have the finals MVP. There is no conscionable reason for that to have taken place. I don't care what you say. No, oh, it was a chemistry. You make them fit around the MVP. Jason Tatum was the only American basketball player last year in the world to make the All-NBA first team. The only one. Not LeBron, not Joel Embiid, not Anthony Davis, not Anthony Edwards, not Stephen Curry. Not none of them made it, but he did. And you saw they treated him like a piece of doo-doo. Y'all saw that. But in the case of Shannon, I was just totally confused by what he was talking about. Because I know, had it been LeBron, he would have been up there taking off his glasses, slamming on the table, defending LeBron James. And it speaks volumes that a person like Jalen Brown is not being promoted and they look for the bonehead NBA players and promote them. Do you know what that says to you for the people that are confused? It says that they promote these people because they believe that's who you are. And the reason they don't promote Jalen Brown is because they don't believe their audience is that intelligent. So he won't connect the same way. So let's promote every buffoon or that will say anything uh, 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 insane or stupid because we know those are the players that resonate. I hope y'all peep that too. Because I don't understand why a person, a black American like Jalen Brown, who's very intelligent. I think he's the youngest member of the uh, uh, of the uh, Players uh, Association. I think he was the VP or something like that. The youngest. He even negotiates his own contracts. You know, the thing that they have lawyers for, he does it. Which means that at one point, he negotiated the most lucrative contract in the history of basketball. This dude did, and he getting blackball, and Shannon Sharp up there twerking it up. Well, you, well, you see, you know, if you piss some people off, they, 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 they're going to be some repercussions. Let that have been LeBron James. I want to go deeper into this, but I won't. I won't. Because if... Jalen Brown is not marketable. And we look at all the other players that are. Hmm, what does that say about them? I'll leave you on. I'll catch you on the next show. I'm out.